What's up y'all? So I decided to take this portion of my last video to play in real time and narrate how I open and stretch my pizza dough. Uh, once I get a dough ball out of the container, I'll dip it in flour on both sides, place it on my work surface and gently press out the air from the center to about less than an inch from the border. I'll flip it over and keep doing that in quarter turn increments until it's a little bit bigger than the size of my hand, popping any big bubbles along the way. Now, once I get it to that size, I'll start with the slapping technique. And essentially what this does is uses gentle pulling and gravity, keeping the dough base in a counterclockwise motion uh, if you're right-handed. And what this does is hopefully ends up with a uniform thickness of the middle part of the dough base and hopefully a uniform circle uh, once it's to your liking. Now in this video, I'm making a margarita pizza, which essentially is just tomato sauce, cheese, and basil. And the basil that I'm using is homegrown basil that I did not do a very good job with because the leaves are very small. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ladle and my sauce and ladle the sauce onto my pizza base in a circular motion to about an inch from the border as you see right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of my really tiny basil leaves and rip them off the stem and put them on the pizza base. If I had normal bigger sized basil leaves, I'd rip them in half before putting them on the base, which releases the oil and gives off that beautiful basil aroma. And here I add the Parmesan and now the fresh mozzarella. Now the mozzarella that I buy is very, very wet. So what I have to do is cut it ahead of time, place it in a container to drain off some of the excess moisture and put it in the refrigerator for a few hours up till overnight, uh, just to dry it out a little bit more. Now in this video, I forget to add olive oil, but I put the olive oil on before I launch it. Now I'm gonna grab my peel, and normally what I like to do is place the peel on the work surface and drag the pizza onto it, but because of space, I can't. So I'm gonna grab a lip here and just slide the peel underneath it, and now proceed on to the final shaping. So this is a 12 inch peel, and the goal here in the final shaping is to stretch the dough out to be as close to a, you know, a uniform circle as you can get it prior to launching. And now, here is the final product. I hope you guys found this video informative and I hope y'all have a good day. Take it easy.